What's happening guys? My name is Danger on PC and today I'm going to be showing you a quite basic uh, console screen and selection menu. Um, so what we're going to have by the end of this is a Y axis and X axis along the console screen. It's going to select the different X's and the corners and we're going to have it printing in chat what quadrants we're in. So let's get started. Um, how you set this up, I had a 2x2 stone plate, which you can find just there. Uh, a console screen and an expression to chip. So, let's get started. We can delete uh, the newbie text and the trigger and persist. Uh, just put a name of basic console screen or something along those lines, you know. Something that is meaningful. So first of all, we're going to need to create our wire link. So we're going to do WL wire link. Then we need our buttons. And then what we're going to want to do is we'll want to make a count variable. Now, you'll expl you'll understand this a lot more later on, the uh, count variable. Uh, it'll all make sense soon. So we're going to make some... We're going to make some strings first to put around. So we'll have... Do we all write string X? Now we're going to put them in the different corners of the um, of the console screen. Now the console screen is 30 and in the X axis and 18 in the Y axis. Uh, I'll just show you what they are. That'll just error. So it's th uh, 30 going that way and 18 going down that way. Okay. So this first one, let's go back here because it errored. Uh, we're going to have it 29, 0. Now, you're going to want to take one off at the end, so then it's got a little bit of padding around it. Uh, then we're going to have it in white, and we'll have that there. Now, all we need to do is just copy and paste this for all four corners. Um, we'll put this at 0, 0, 0, 17, because we take one off the y-axis again, and we'll have 29, 17. So if we go back on... Let's just hook up our wire link. Where's my wire advanced? So we'll have our wire link. And there we go. Now, um, just for future reference, because we're going to be changing the background color to show the selection, uh, we're going to put a grey background. Now, grey is 333. So let's just add them in. And there we go. Right, now let's get down to doing the axes. Now I'm just going to section this off. I like to keep my code neat so I just use sections. So now what we're going to want to do, well we're going to use our first startup command so or if it's duped, if I can spell there we go. So what we're going to want to do, well first we're going to set our count to 1 so it's always going to start in the top right hand corner then we are going to write a string. Uh, then we're going to just write the x axis in. So we're going to write string 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if we just. Because it's 30 across, if we just. If. Come on. There we go. If we just copy this three times, then we're going to want this at 0. Now, this is going to be however many down the y-axis so there's 18 on the y-axis so we're going to want it straight in the middle so that's 18 divided by 2 is 9 and then we're going to want it in white and there we go so now we've got an x-axis in the middle right what we're going to want to do now we want to create the y-axis going down the middle so what we're going to do is because we can't put a straight down line going down the middle without some sort of loop to do that the same on every single uh, part of the same row. So we're going to use a for loop. So for i is equal to zero. And then we're going to have the range that it's going to go in. So it's going to be 17. And then we want in increments of one. So we're going to have that there. Now, this is future thinking. What do we want the design of this to look like? Now, I would prefer that it doesn't have a straight line coming down here in the middle. 
simply because that's just it'll look better if the x-axis overlaps the y-axis so we're gonna have if i is not equal to 9 then we're gonna have our writing of strings so I have wl write string then we're gonna have a straight line then we're gonna have so how many are along the x-axis was well, 30 so 30 divided by 2 is 15 Then we're gonna use our i variable then we're having a y in no background and that should create a y-axis going down the center like so right well what do we want to do now well we want our actual operations first so we want our code to actually work we want to be able to select um, our segments so we're gonna have we'll spawn in our buttons now as well so to spawn in our buttons so we'll go to uh, button here we're gonna have an up button we're gonna have a down button and then we're gonna have an enter button so if we just wire these up so we have up to up down to down and enter to enter like so awesome So what we're we going to want to do, well, well first we're going to want to change our background to show that our, our thingies, uh, our, oh god, what they're called, our corners have been selected. So we're going to have it changed to a red. So what we're going to want to do is take 3 through 3 away from 900. So we're going to want 5, 6, 7 I believe that is. And then we're going to want some sort of boolean to be able to actually um, select it on or off whether it's selected or not. So there's a nice little um, mathem mathematical formula that can select this for us. So here's how it goes. It goes count is divided by 1, floor division of 1 divided by count and that's literally it. But then we want it knotted at the beginning like so. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy and paste that into the rest of these. And there we go. Now, yes, they are all selected. Uh, ah, that's why, that's why. We need to change the numbers at the front here. So they're all different selections, like so. And then that should be, yes, that's the only one selected. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to make it operate using our buttons. So, we're going to use, uh, we're going to do our up button first. So, if up and count is uh, less than 4, then we're going to say count plus plus. So, that's going to add 1 to our count. And we're going to have an else if down and count is greater than 1 count minus minus so that's going to deduct 1 and we're going to have another else if enter then we're going to have it to print you are in quadrant and then we want our count variable at the end like so awesome now that should work like that but we can't cycle through so once we get there we can't go up anymore and once we get to one we can't go down anymore so we want it to go in a circle basically there is an easy way to fix this we're going to take this count and we're going to put if count is greater than four then our count is going to be equal to one so that's just going to cycle back to the beginning and then we're going to do the exact same here. Make sure that you flip the signs or it won't work and it'll bug out. So just to emphasize that here, you need to flip the sign. So it's a, a less than sign. And then we're going to have count equals 4. Like so. Close bracket. And then that should 
theoretically cycle through like so. So guys, um, ah, I'll show you that also the enter button, it does paste in chat. You are in quadrants. It works for all of them. So anyway guys, that is a basic console screen and selection menu. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below with any issues you had. I'll try and fix them and help you as much as you can. And comment any improvements you have. Uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.